For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. All the great things that God giveth us, he gives us his fresh air, he gives us the water we need, the food, and he also has offered eternal life. And eternal life is by the one that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's it. Going to heaven is only by the faith and belief upon Jesus Christ. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Nowhere can you find in the Bible where church will save you. It's by Jesus Christ and only by Jesus Christ. And to receive the love of God is to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world. And the love of God is that he gave his only begotten son and the love of God is Jesus. You're not gonna go to heaven any other way. You will fail, you've been deceived. And you cannot have the life of God, the eternal life, without Jesus Christ. See, heaven has to offer a brand new body. No more sin. No more sorrow. No more party. No more doing wrong. Heaven will be a place where you don't have to check your thoughts. Heaven will be where you will not ever have to say you're sorry. But you're not going to get to that eternal hope except by the blessed hope by Jesus Christ. God does not take Baptists. He don't take baptism. He doesn't take Catholics. He doesn't take the Mass. He doesn't take religion. He takes the precious blood of Jesus Christ without spot. And your hopes and your desire to get to a place where God is, is to be by God said, be holy for I am holy and you are not. For the Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. So you're going to die because you are a sinner. And the Bible says, behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. It did not say, behold the church of God. Behold the water. Behold how good you are, how many works. No, behold the lamb, and that lamb is Jesus Christ, which take away the sin of the world. Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, Jesus said. And you are laden with sin, and that sin will carry you into the depths of hell if it's not cleansed. 
if you die as the sinner that you are, Jesus will proclaim to you, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. If you were to depart from this world by the saving grace of Jesus Christ alone, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter now into the joy of the rest. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. How am I getting to heaven? Nothing but the finished work of Jesus. What have I done to earn heaven? Absolutely nothing. God commended his love to all of us that Jesus Christ suffered and died. There's nothing that we can do to top what Jesus Christ has already done. The finished work. Upon the cross of Jesus, Jesus said, it is finished. There is nothing need more to be done. The perseveration to be a preservative into glory into heaven is by Jesus. Any form of religion, any form of, of works by a man is artificial repentance. It's artificial preservatives. And that won't be accepted. It's to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. It's that simple. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's a hot day, but it's much hotter in hell. There are no fans in hell. There's no AC in hell. There's no breeze in hell. But there is life in the blessed hope of Jesus Christ. A place where God abodes. God in His holiness that will give us holiness once we get to His glory. But God has set forth a standard. And the standard is that Jesus Christ alone is able to save your soul. And nothing else. By the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is a man saved. Everything else goes to hell. Everything else is not approved. Jesus Christ is God approved. Jesus Christ satisfies God by suffering and dying on that cross. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. 